There was a story about Hillary Clinton that came out this week that caught my eye, and I'll explain why after we go through it here. But take a look. It says, Hillary Clinton uh, turned to religion after her defeat. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> so they say, the Reverend Bill Shalady, Shalady, I think it's Shalady, revealed this week that he sent an email to Clinton the morning after the election, and it talked about Good Friday, the day in which Christians believe Jesus Christ was crucified, According to a copy of the letter posted by CNN, Shalady acknowledged that this is not the devotional you wish to receive this day, but he took her through the story nonetheless. Quote, For the disciples and Christ followers in the first century, Good Friday represented the day that everything fell apart. All was lost. The momentum and hope of a man claiming to be the Son of God, the Messiah, who was supposed to change everything, had been executed, Shalady wrote. Even though Jesus told his followers three days later the temple would be restored, they had no idea of what that Sunday would be. They betrayed, denied, mourned, fled, and hid. They did just about everything but feel good about Friday and their circumstances. Shalady told Clinton that she and the nation, which ultimately gave her the popular vote, was in the middle of such a Friday, but needed to hold on. Quote, our hope is that Sunday is coming, but it might be well be held, be hell for a while, he wrote. Clinton identifies as a Methodist, and she's previously said that her religious upbringing helped her personal development. Shalady, the executive director of the United Methodist City Society in New York, and Clinton met in 2002, according to the Associated Press, and they became fast friends. The pastor attended both her daughter's wedding and her mother's memorial during last year's campaign. He wrote her daily devotionals. He's recently collected those messages into strong, into strong for a moment like this. I don't know what that means. He's recently collected those messages into strong for a moment like this due out next week. Oh, I guess that's a book. Clinton wrote uh, the forward, but the book, which according to the publisher's website, includes 365 devotionals along with her personal notes, portions of her speeches, and headlines that provide context. Okay, so do you guys understand what's going on here? This is um, the testing of the waters, and this is the floating the stories for the media to let them know, like, just so everybody knows the door's still open. If she wants to run again, it's good, right? That's what this is. Hillary turned to religion after her defeat, where she did some soul searching. And by the way, here's a new book that's coming out of Hillary's pastor, and, Hillary, and the book from Hillary's pastor has a lot to do with her own personal notes, portions of her speeches, and headlines that provide context. So in other words, this is her, say, I'm still relevant, look, 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 people, and me, I, and look, no, it's my pastor who wanted to write this and do this, and he took the initiative, and sure, I just wrote the forward and, you know, uh, put my personal notes and speeches in there and all that stuff, and so her pastor was the one who went to the media and said, oh, let me tell you how Hillary turned to religion. You don't think he got a call from the Clintons, and they said, look, go out there and tell everybody how I, I'm so religious and pious after what happened. That's exactly what happened. This guy didn't go on his own volition. Like, oh yeah, let me tell you how Hillary has turned to religion. No, they called him, go out there and say this is for us. So that's what happened. And th look at the comparison they're making. Uh, they're comparing Hillary Clinton uh, to Jesus. They're compa comparing Hillary Clinton to who they think is the son of God and God. Somehow both at the same time. Um, now they go on to say, they add a line at the end like, no, uh, when we talk about Good Friday leading to the Sunday, the Sunday is not another election for her. She's moving on with her life. Not at all true. You have to throw that line in there or else it's too unpalatable. But you say, no, 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 no. When I say that she's, you know, the country's in a situation like it was where we're the disciples of her and she's Jesus and then dies and then rises back. I don't mean that she's going to rise back in another election. That's exactly what the fuck it means. There's nothing else it could even theoretically mean. That's exactly the context of what you're saying. So basically what happened here, guys, is Hillary and her family, Hillary and maybe Bill, reached out to their pastor, said, go to the media and say this stuff. And he goes out there and he compares Hillary to Jesus Christ. And says, maybe she'll rise again. Maybe she'll rise again. And that's exactly what's going on. The country really loved her and gave her the popular vote. And that's why she, don't worry guys, she might rise again. 
We had the Good Friday, but don't worry, the Sunday's coming. But no, oh, it's not that she's gonna run again. I'm just saying that if she does, the Sunday's gonna come and you guys will vote for her, right? So she... That's what's happening here. Oh my god. Why can't you just go the fuck away? Go away, go away, go away. She Immediately after she lost, what does she do? She does a few interviews say, obviously the loss has nothing to do with me. It's fucking Vladimir Putin and it's fucking James Comey and it's racist and deplorables. Anybody but me. Don't blame me for anything ever. So it's not me. And by the way, as after she goes on to explain in a thousand words how it's not her fault, she's going to say, oh, but I take full responsibility. Oh, I'm sure you do, which is why you just gave us fucking a thousand words about how it's not your fault. So she does that and then she launches a group to keep the Democrats corporate. I launched a PAC, Stronger Together, and what does the PAC do? It takes money from fucking Wall Street, multinational corporation, and gives it to her preferred candidates. That is nothing but keeping the Democratic Party corporate. And now, they're so cynical, they have their fucking pastor go out there and compare her to Jesus. And say, maybe she'll rise again. I'm not saying she's gonna run again, but maybe she'll rise again. And by the way, look, I wrote a book and it just happens to have a lot of Hillary's personal notes in here. Go the fuck away. You're the destruction of the Democratic Party. How do you not get that yet? All the proof is there. All the proof is there. They can't help themselves. They will bring down the Democratic Party because of the size of her ego.